Hey you one, this is Lonnie, and I'm back with another episode of The Boss, and we're gonna try... Let's see if we can... Oh, there we go. Try to explore this... So far, actually, really awesome game. Too bad you didn't get this hit on the head by flying golf like going at a million miles in an hour. What? What? I got one, well, I got a really, really good okay. Too bad Corel the Will didn't see you and then send her henchman off you to beat you over the head so she could make your skin into a coat. Too far. Too bad friend didn't rip your head off. Too soon. <laughs> Daisy. What is this? Are you all me? About fidgeting time you figured that out your fissing dimple. Is that Billy? This field ring computer just censor me? This is the weirdest thing I ever seen. This is the stupidest thing I ever seen. Billy, how do you come back to life? Step away from Billy! This is the best moment of my life! Is it different jacks from different games or what? Yeah, you're a lovely person, but I think one of you is more than enough. Yeah, I think I agree. So we, we just ran into your game's merchant mind telling us what they were doing losing cluster track. If you think I can't exert any man with control of them, you got another thing coming. Well, they did drop me to a pillar of lava. Twice. You're out of my control, Jack. But if you're interested, I can try to talk to my own bill about not bugging you. Wasn't he dead? Yeah, th yes, that's why I can't, con can't control him. <laughs> it's easy to tell a corpse not to do something. I remember you, the snarky Jack. Someone has to be! You're like the coolest version of me. It's just awesome to be able to talk to you. I don't know, man. Nothing's cool than the real thing. Although you're a bit of a letdown. You and I know that Bill is the enemy. You saw what he did to all of our friends in my game. Don't bring me into this. Your Billy was a psychopath. Don't I don't affect anyone. Still, I'd be careful if I were you, Jack. Keep a close eye on Billy. He might still prove his latent evilness. All right on it, man. I gotta feel bad for Billy. Oh, my game's plan came true. Yeah, you're right, I'm stuck in my computer, just like you were. Wait, does this mean you never escaped? I mean, technically, I always lived in your computer, so I escaped the computer within the computer. Computerception. Here we go again! Listen, Jack, if you need my help, I'll help you in any way I can. The community has already saved me once. I won't let them suffer in the computer if I can help it. I'm not sure they're suffering, not exactly. In fact, it's probably more like being asleep, I'm assuming. Yes, but even so, they need to be free. And also, you're really lucky you're not my Billy. I get such a warm welcome from all of you candy parts. Was happy to be support you, Jack. When you call Sean in your game? Oh yeah, well we're right here to support you, Sean. Thank you, keep on the being a bus, Jack. What the fuck are you talking to me? He's your bit explosive. Of course I'm explosive. I'm being fabricated censored by your computer all because of this little able bag. I mean, I'm glad the censor with this guy. What the fuck did you say to me? Yeah, he's kind of the reason Eva even installed it. She and Bob didn't want to be learning from him. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Jack, of the to the future, Jack. <laughs> Have the autocorrected grumbler. <laughs> Okay, they, 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 they're pretty upset. But I died! It's a huge problem! That'd be ridiculous. You ever seen horror movies? Nobody ever looks up! It reminds me back in the days when I was working in a rubber factory and someone was, was shouting to me, Look up! Uh, well, soup, look up! Uh, well, like, look out! And I was like an idiot, literally looking up as hot rubber mass fell from a conveyor belt above us, right on my head. I got a bit of a... No, I guess, yeah. Don't you not see Jack and his friends standing right here, listening to, to, to your entire conversation? Whatever you do, don't look up, Jack. Just don't. Why not? You will die. And it would be horrible. We, want that. we wouldn't want that, would we, Papyrus? We really, really wouldn't want it to happen to our dear, merciful friend. Here's the key, Alphys. Thank you. I really hope finding it this time was as bad as it was the last time. Yeah. Well, it depends on who you ask. I take the first one again in a heartbeat. See? And you brought a friend! Elvis! Uh, yeah? I love you! 
Thank you, I think. And the dirty purse, I love you too! And the gym you deserve! What? What? You too? Both of you? I'm really lost right now. The departments are the ODP. I never met anyone who ships them to other than myself. Me neither. I'm sorry, that's probably pretty rude to say in front of you too. Your computer is, is your story. Tell it whoever you want. But it could know that means I have someone to double date with. Even if that somebody includes another version of me. Oh yeah, that sounds like a fun date. I know that you're faking. Get back into the trash office. I never left. I think it's kind of weird to pair up people you know in a person, even if you only just met them today. Seriously, you would have gone with the friend, bro? Well, no, shut up! I think I have a new OTP. Um, the next key? <laughs> you still can't get the firewall down? No, it seems that I haven't mutated. Whoever this boss is did their homework. I can't do a thing yet on it. But then what sort of danger field will we be facing this time? I can't tell. Whatever it is seems to have a loopy signature to it. Other than that, I can't get a good reading on it. Best to prepare for anything it might throw at you. Looping signature? Seems to be a game that reset itself a lot. Wonder what that could be. We won't know until we find out. Hopefully it doesn't reset itself because we die all the time. Well, thanks for all your help, Alphus. Now I'm war team. Wait, not team. Gang, comrades? Poos or Poseptica! What? I like that, okay, Poseptica guys. Let's roll it out. That is more like Transformers, you know. All this talk about that is really putting me into romantic mood. What would be your ideal date, Papyrus? A candlelit spaghetti dinner. Hmm. I wonder what music I could pay to set up the mood. Hey, I got some perfect mood music on my phone. There we go, really sets the mood. The mood wasn't supposed to be anger! <laughs> oh no, that, 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 that was great. Are you still... Papers, please? Okay, potato man, just let into my room. A bold move, trying to enter your room with such confidence. But I still can't let you in. I think this might be a revenge for the time you denied him access into the glory, glory greatest country. But it was always my favorite! Come back with passport, enter ticket, and vaccination records. Name for this game would be such a stickler for rules. And be go, before you go, take this. A potato? You need the food for your journey. Okay, but a potato? It's a, vit a vital, vital important. Go to Astroska! Well, you got a potato? Well, I don't mind a potato. Potatoes are nice. I don't like potatoes. I this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big... Stanley's parable! Number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee number 427 did. Wait, hold on a moment. Cut the music. You're not Stanley. Who the hell are you? Why are there four of you? When did I ever indicate that this was a multiplayer game? No, no, not here. Not there. I specific... Oh, damn it. Fine. Very well. Who are you? I'm Jack! Jack. Jack! Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. I can't call you Jack. Jack's a rubbish name. Jack is not a hero's name. Oh, damn it. Jack is the name of a man who slaughters streetwalkers in 19th century London. Well, that is Jack the Ripper. Jack is the name of a financially challenged boy who disobeys his mother, climbs a beanstalk, and steals from a giant. That is Jack the Bean Boy. I don't remember his full name. Jack is not a hero. I mean, something I go by Sean. Sean. Sean, Sean. I could live with a name like Sean, but Jack? Sean Connery? I will find a more suitable name for the protagonist of this adventure. You are not Stanley. And I'm not saying you're not Stanley. I'm saying you are not Stanley. In parentheses. With a hyphen in between. It's very fancy. You look great on your business cards. Damn it, I like that. Let's go through the stupid door. 
Okay, we gotta save because now this is oh man, this is a game that has been uh, it's a where's well, Bojack and here I thought it was a flamingo. It's a vaguely met. Uh, that is fancy. It's a good model. I have no idea. But uh, it, it reminds me, this is a game that has been suggested to me to play, and uh, I'm gonna see if I can jump to this game. I was going to refer to you as not standing in the three bears, but in the efforts to avoid confusion, I think we should <laughs> you all. We have not Stanley, Stanley Jr., Mariella, and you. Mm, I think you should be called Finn. You rather look like a Finn to me. Stanley Junior snort. Not a word! <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, this is one of these. I heard. Do you smell anything coming from this room? Or is it just me? It smell like Chinese food. A little more like Vietnamese food. How can there be a difference based on the smell? Billy, that's racist. How is it racist? They have the same little cuisine. I mean, that's messy with you. You're really making me question the decision I made in my life. Yeah, well, there's a dip as I agree, there is a big difference, but honestly, I, I I have no smell, sense of smell that good that I can feel the difference between Vietnamese food and Chinese food. Though both is very good. It's locked. Why would they lock the door? They don't know, maybe because they want to tell the stranger to walk in on them? That's an oddly specific motive. Jack, why, yes, why? Because cookies are delicious. That just about sums it up. Like content provide a like subscriber. Ah, damn snuggle puffs! The little center look like a legally binding contract. Weird. By entering this room, you agree to blah blah blah. Wait, what? We have all rights of photograph taken on you this room without, with or without your knowledge or permission. So it's basically like going to convention, even the hippotamus class. What happens at parks stays. At what happens in parks? I would love to go to some of these conventions. I don't know, I really can't though. I have a poor random bloke. The boss is nothing. What if this same what if it is, it's a mob boss? What if it's a the virus ma Damn the virus mafia? I like that. <laughs> I just got banished your magic computer. This can should I do something with this? I don't know why, but there's something creepy with the music. A door! As the doors go, this one is adorable. <laughs> and I'm like a door, it can swing in both ways. Yes! <laughs> Why do you enjoy tormenting me so? Don't be so selfish, Billy. And no one who's played Happy Wheels enjoy tormenting you. I can't feel bad for him. This door is made out of balsa wood. I would probably punch right through it. And if he would be dead, we could balsamate him with it. But do you, what is your deal with locked doors? Well, in horror games, locked doors usually hide well horrors. Oh yeah, because this Stan Perry is one of these great horror games of our generation. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't played the game. It's really quiet in there. I guess whatever is in there is dormant. <laughs> oh God. Because hurry you in other ways would cause your game to become unplayable, corrupted. Come on, Bill. That's a common knowledge. Read the law of death permanence sometimes. His blood will sp splatter further. Man, I hey, I guess you. Why is it me? Because you're dark. Uh, <laughs> but, it, 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 but it was good. I thought it was a nice one. Patient is key. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Possibly grandiose decision of which way to go. Not Stanley chose the red door. On red or blue? I feel like this is a test of personality. You know, come think of it. Even though I just went through a death-defying situation with all of you, I don't feel like I really know all, you all that well. But to be honest, if we haven't really had any spare time to talk either, we just kind of been from one thing to another. Hmm. We should change that. But the first, we should probably pick a door. Remember on Game Theory that. Psychology they call right is associated with competition action where blue would be more associated with intuition puzzles. So we're either gonna be shot to death or be destroying the game of chess. I think I have to do something more with personality. You know what? Never mind. Would it make worse sense for this about obeying versus disobeying since the narrator specially told us to go through the red door? 
not go through the red or maybe he should have told us to go through the blue. But it's simple, all I have to do is divine from what I know of the narrative. He's still the man who would put the bad ending behind the door he endorsed or the door that he doesn't. Now, a clever man would put the ending behind the door he doesn't endorse because he would know that only great fools would do what they were told by this embodied narrator. We're not great fools, so we clearly cannot choose to go through the blue door. We must have known where we're not great fools, he ever would encounter on it, and so we cannot clearly not choose the red door. So it's still 50 50. I guess we could flip a coin. Let's just pick one on random. Yeah, I gotta go with blue because I like blue. And I want to piss off the random person talking to me. <laughs> uh, so, not Stanley arrived at the not meeting room employee lounge, complete with ugly blue carpet and broken soda machine. I paid $2.50. I was just trying to get a Coke! Oh, damn it! Sharon, how did you get a Coke? The machine was broken! Damn it. What do you mean use a credit card? Not in this country, Sharon! <laughs> He's cracked. <laughs> Oh my god. See, that amazing voice like that was that is hilarious. I love it. Ask Sharon. Ooh, snap. Okay, we're moving on. We're gonna... S what? Isn't this... Jack's room? Not Stanley triumphantly blundered into his boss's office to find that no one was there. Now he could play with his boss's secret keypad, but he'd never know that the combination was 7326. Oh, not Stanley. What? You look at different loss of our share too. I wonder if he married with some. But it literally a copy of his. But don't tell me that boss that is causing is a version of Jack. Maybe it's corrupt. You know, and septic guy. It kind of looks like you're recording. There we go. It does. Ah well, maybe it happened when the apartment came here. Maybe it did weird. I don't trust it. By the boss. Okay, the boss is not a demon of possession of your computer. Okay, but imagine Alfin as an exorcist. Stop giving the internet ideas. There's enough with Alfin's fan out there. I've seen things. Horrible things. Oh, man. This is not a code, not Stanley. This is plain English. ABCs, 123s. Seven, three, two, six. Okay, that was a sharp. Uh, seven, three, two, six. I don't want to wear this some, some kind of weird. Everything has been weird, Jack. <laughs> I love how Billy is so snarky. I'm in with the narrator. Well, it doesn't really sound like the narrative from my copy of the game. Mind either, maybe it's an imposter. Damn, you narrative imposter! Okay, do we really need to start coming up with conspiracy theories? I'm just saying he's acting kind of weird. I guess I'm also concerned with why the boss of it looks so much like yours. And that's weird. I wonder if it has something to do with this boss guy who's prevented me from getting us all back. Oh, oh, I got it! Maybe, maybe it's you! I'm pretty sure I remember sabotaging myself. No, no, hear me out. Okay, so you maybe you're gonna end up in Oxen Free, right? And you bang your head and go evil and then go back in time to sabotage your past self. And we all just evaporate. Okay, okay, but there's a fairy. A game fairy! And Matt Pat will be proud. <laughs> okay, this is kind of creepy. What an actual sweet idiot! Not Stanley found himself in a truly terrifying and chilling place. A cavernous chamber, filled to the brim with television monitors, upon which bearing the numbers of all the employees, and not Stanley being one of them. He was shocked, not slightly embarrassed. Oh my! But altogether, the mysteries were beginning to build and compound to one satisfying and grandiose conclusion. Snap. Why we stop here? Don't know, maybe this press a button. Do you do, do everyone are thinking Yeah, I do that. Now I think a lot of things through, very seriously, like naming you Billy. You did that out off the cuff. What else do you think we need to do in this room? Actually I think Jack might be right. Might as well press those buttons, see what happens. Yeah, I like pressing buttons. Buttons are my kind of thing. 
uh, uh, employee not found. Why? Why? Why have? Why is? Where's to, back to the letter? I guess I think I saw a hidden button that might have been act. Have. Blah, blah. I'm terrible, sorry, but I'm, I'm a bit tired. But we're making progress. I like that. So, anyone hungry? I am. No, not really. Exactly. So, we're not getting hungry anymore. Maybe I should be there. I mean, my, maybe I lose a bit of weight if I do that. I don't think I have noticed. I just trying to remember a time where I had to come of eating delicious food like cookies and cakes and chips. So, like, my kind of meal. Damn it. Now oh, I want that. I'm busy being hungry. Why do you have to bring it up, Cliff? I was happy not noticing. Oh, wait. Why is there a button there? Why is this thing there? Mind control facility? The mind control facility was too horrible for not Stanley to comprehend. Had he really been controlled this entire time? All his thoughts, his actions? I'm not sure about that. His big bottles are like it! And then his. Uh, hey? Uh, hey? What am I actually supposed to do with this? Uh, hmm. That was a weird room. Oh, mind control idle waiting input. Uh. And he did it. Somehow, against all possible odds and expectations. Not Stanley had freed everyone. Yo! It was a joyous, exuberant, classical example of a hero done well. Thank everyone. Free. No Thank one everyone. What to do, or what to think, or where to go. No one would have to pretend to be a narrator after being fired unfairly for something they didn't even do. And our hero, not Stanley, bravely and proudly basking in the glow of whatever he did that freed everyone. Well. He knew where he was going. To Valhalla. He was off on another bright adventure. What new mysteries of joy and wonder would await him I along like that it. glowing door? No, no, come on. God damn it! Beautiful story. I don't want to have to do it again for not Stanley, who won't appreciate it. Why can't I get someone who appreciates my stories? Now we have to do it all over again. And it won't even be the same story because you're just going to pick something else. Oh, what will the narrator say? It'll be so angry now. Let's go in the other door. Let's push something else. Let's lock ourselves in a closet. What will he say? What will he do? I don't <laughs> Well, he seems upset. As to what happened, not Stanley left his office. I don't know, try to contain all that excitement. <laughs> oh my god, this game, serious. I mean, this is freaking genius. Is this the same again? Okay, it's uh, the same again. Or is it? Is everything really the same? Or is it something different? We're gonna find that out. Honestly, I'm a bit nervous. Not Stanley and his co-workers. Wait a minute. No, this really can't be right. What? I mean, I know we're going off the cuff as it is, what with the renewed stage after the freedom ending, but we really cannot go anywhere if those doors aren't open. I'm going to have to look into this. Hold on. Oh, good. More oh, glorious! I'm so screwed! But she did promise me a cake, goddammit! No need to play dumb, employee 207. They ought to know what you've been up to this entire time. But I'm the narrator! That wasn't even a nice try. You don't sound anything like the narrator. More like a sound-alike who's auditioning for Saturday Night Live. Oh, snap. Come on now, that was uncalled for. But I really must thank you. You've brought me more test subjects, like I've asked for. So I suppose you're actually good at some... You might want to introduce yourself, though. Seeing as you're going to be working with them more, it's best for them to get to know the real you. I... 
yeah, you, you know what? She's right. I'm not actually the narrator. Surprise. Wow! Shocking, I know. And you're not actually getting out of here. GLaDOS and I have teamed up to find and test subjects for the future of Aperture Science. Are you... Wheatley? Or the present. Seeing as we currently have no one to run through these tests, we're not too picky. Despite your obvious lack of intelligence, Thank we're you. required to use what we have. So congratulations. You're all at the top of your group. I appreciate it. By default. She really needs to work on her motivation at speed. Anyway, Just... I don't think we should spend too long out here. While there is no discernible passage of time here in the digital world, we do need to get a move on. The average human lifespan is a pathetically short 70 years or so. Even shorter in Billy's case. Oh. Well, I mean, he does respond, so I f what if he actually make his lifespan a lot longer? Oh, I like her. She shows potential. Actual potential. Not the kind that leaves you high and dry, having been overrun by a wave of disappointment. That being the case, I have exactly the teams that we need. Oh. We only have two functional tests at the moment. But I see now how to divide you up perfectly. Wait, I mean, hold on. The bus is loaded, the bus... What? There are several using a loaded screen? Rude. I suppose we could record how long it takes you to go insane listening to this song. But that would be needlessly cruel. It would be more humane to throw you in the incinerator just outside Man, the door. It reminds me I really need to play Portal 2 again and all that. Well, Portal as well. Anyone before. This should be fun. We're, have you seen it? I have never seen an employee 207 in any of my games before. I can remember. have seen me. But I guess you don't remember. Hey, you've killed me, though. Wait, I killed you? Then what game are you from? I guess it's kind of hard to remember someone who's just one in a crowd. Party hard? All I was doing was partying innocently, and then you murdered me. Or at least, you did when you finally noticed me. I'm sorry about that, but, I mean, this is kind of point of the game. Yeah, yeah, it is. And yes, I know I'm supposed to die. It's a small role, but it's something. Okay. And all I wanted was for my role to go off without a hitch. Oh, snap. You almost didn't notice me in the tutorial level. Ouch. It's a small role that I wanted to do right, and you almost messed it up. Ouch. So you take all this out on me because I almost didn't kill you? Well, not fulfilling your game role. Or at least having a near useless experience was kind of a blow to me, you know? Ah, I ended snap. up leaving my game to find one where I'd be more appreciated. That sounds like going turbo. Wreckage Ralph. Yep. Never mind, I guess. I love that movie. Better. Point is, I went to work for Aperture Science, met a man named Stanley, boring guy. Long story short, I got fired for something I didn't even do. But I managed to lure the narrator away with a cookie and took over his recording booth, so there's that at least. Oh, snap, you. You lured a narrator with a cookie? Never underestimate the power of baked goods around video game characters, Jack. Damn it. <clears throat> yes, well, as exciting as all this exposition and reveal is, I'm sure you're <laughs> going to want to get to the test. This room wasn't designed to last, you know. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose where you come from, most rooms are permanent. This particular room was designed to be disposable, left standing only for about 30 minutes after its creation. Fuck. We at Aperture figured that with the amount of test subjects we were going through, sanitation was an issue. It was more cost effective to create and destroy holding chambers when necessary, instead of sanitizing the old ones. Now that is not cost efficient, I feel. I push buttons for that. Perhaps. So Stanley worked for the Aperture? Ooh boy, that explains a lot. Anyway, seeing as this room was created about 29 minutes ago, you should probably head through the portal. Oh my gosh, this is not good. But you know, I gotta save for now and I will be back with more Jack and the boss of course. So thank you for watching, stay later on and most of all though, have a continuous super great day.